The nurse was holding a baby in her arms that she had never seen before. And he looked so cute that there was more than one baby like this. Some of them have bird-like wings. Some are covered with sharp barbs like hedgehogs. This is a group of mysterious babies. At the same time, the human world is an unprecedented disaster. The plague virus swept the world. Infected with the virus, no one can survive. Their fingers will be like a rattlesnake shaking constantly. The world was in a state of panic, and the humans did not know whether the virus brought the hybrids or the hybrids brought the virus. The surviving humans began to point the finger at the hybrids, and a father had to hide in the mountains to protect his baby hybrids. He built a cabin in the deepest part of the forest, transformed it into a small water wheel with broken tires, mended the barbed wire fence around it during the day, and wrote children's books by hand at night. When the antler boy called out his father for the first time, the man was as happy as a child. He named the boy Gates. In the blink of an eye for years, Gates had grown into a sweet little boy. His father would teach him survival skills while fishing and take him to snowball fights when it snowed. Little did anyone know that his peaceful and happy life was about to be shattered. One day there was a loud roar overhead. His father covered Gates' ears with his big hands, and countless flyers were scattered from the plane that humans were at war with the hybrids. These flyers were calling for more hybrids. The father senses that something is wrong and makes a slingshot for Gates as a weapon. Gates happily practices while scavenging for bullets, and accidentally finds a set of footprints on the ground. Curious, he followed the footprints until he reached the edge of the forest. Looking out at the vast world, Gates couldn't help but take a step forward. But nothing happened. The world out there is so beautiful, not at all as scary as Dad said. Suddenly the roar of a wild beast came from the distance. Gates was frightened and turned his head to run but immediately hit someone else. The antler boy sensed that there was danger approaching him and turned to run back, but he crashed into someone else. His father picked up Gates with a frightened face and ran like mad into the forest. If the humans saw him, he would be killed. But Gates felt that his father was hiding something from him. The sound of human voices suddenly came from the distance. Gates climbed out of bed nervously and his father grabbed a broom as a weapon in a panic. The strange man thought his father was holding a shotgun and politely explained that he had come to the mountains only to look for his lost sister. Gates is curious and eavesdrops on their conversation, and his father nervously glares at Gates. The man found out from the conversation that his father had not left the mountains for a long time. He knew nothing about the outside world. Suddenly Gates' long antlers touched the leaves. The father looked at Gates nervously but turned his head and found that the man had disappeared. The two men rushed over to check only to find that the man had made a mark on the barbed wire fence. The father immediately rushed home and took out the virus on the broomstick and then hid Gates in the secret room. And the two men pulled the hook. Dad told Gates not to come out. Gates waited in the secret room for a long, long time until he finished the entire jar of syrup. Suddenly he heard a strange sound from outside. Gates opened the secret door and took out his slingshot, but found a deer broke in. Gates stretched out his little hand, and suddenly there was a cry from his father outside. Gates cautiously walked out of the house and suddenly there was a terrible silence outside. He closed his eyes and raised his slingshot and walked forward boldly, and from the slit between his eyes he saw that his father had returned and rushed forward to hug him with excitement. His father said to Gates that he was safe now and collapsed. Gates did not know what happened to his father but only found that his father's fingers have been shaking. In the morning, his father called Gates to his side and said he wanted to eat Gates' breakfast. Gates pulled the hook with his father. He went to the duck shed to pick up some of the largest duck eggs and wanted to make his father a delicious egg fried rice. But when he got home his father was quietly asleep. Later, Gates learned to chop wood and repair pipes alone, and he let his scarecrow pets look after the vegetable garden. Until one day Gates found a map on top of his bed. He followed the map and found a big tree painted with hearts. Gates used a small shovel to dig out an iron box, but the iron box cannot be broken or not. Gates suddenly thought of his necklace has been hanging. He took out the necklace on the small key twisted a few times. The mysterious box was finally opened. A boy with antlers on his head found a mysterious box in the forest. Inside the box was a stack of banknotes and a bank card, which the boy sniffed and threw aside in anger. In his dictionary, none of these things can be eaten. Until he found a picture of a human under the box, the boy wagged his ears in aggression. The woman in the photo was the boy's mother, the only clue left after his father's death. Gates rushed home and fished out the map to find the state of Colorado where his mother was, and he was ready to find his mother. According to the plans to make a raft with food and water and the big slingshot, everything is ready. 
The boy pushed his own small raft and set off. Walking to the edge of the forest gates was suddenly attracted to the ground candy. Tore open and smelled the taste than his favorite syrup more fragrant. Gates couldn't resist taking a bite and suddenly found the other side end. He happily rushed over just to pick it up. A flying arrow grazed his head on his raft. Gates was scared and ran. He ducked into a bush and took a peek at the bad guy. The same bad guy who shot himself with an arrow. Gates raised his slingshot and was about to give him a shot when another bad guy came out of nowhere and grabbed Gates' antlers. The bad guy grabbed Gates while admiring his antlers. The two men discussed whether to take the hybrid to the lab or sell it to a bounty hunter. Listen to their tone Gates such a hybrid is particularly rare. Gates when the two men are not paying attention with antlers hit the bad guys hard. Suddenly a shot was fired and one of the bad guys was knocked down. And when he fell, the arrow in his hand shot into the sky. And the other bad guy was shot through the shoulder with a falling sword. Gates was scared and backed up but suddenly out of another person behind him. Gates looked up nervously and saw a tall man. He was so frightened that he rolled and fled. The man pulls the bolt of his gun and shoots the bad guy dead. Gates heard the sound of gunfire behind him. Too scared to turn back, ran all the way home, rushed to lock the door and set up a trap to hide in a secret room. Nervously looking out through the cracks, not long after a tall dark figure appeared at the door. The man hooked his toe instantly destroyed Gates' trap. He pulled open the hidden door. A grabbed Gates and slammed him to the ground but was surprised to find that Gates could speak human language. Gates saw that the slingshot did not work so he brought out his father to scare the man. He said his father will be back soon. His father is stronger than the man many times. The man holds back his laughter as he picks up the photo that fell on the ground and tells Gates not to live in the forest during the day. He can see it from miles away. He returned the photo to Gates and helped him fix the broken pipe in front of the door. Gates hides on the roof. He wants to know how far away the state of Colorado is. The man seriously told Gates not to go out of the forest or his head would soon be cut off by human trappers and hung on the wall. Gates just replied confidently that his mother was there. As he watched the man walk away and Gates was left alone, a sense of loneliness came over him. He didn't want to stay in the forest forever. He wanted to see the outside world. Gates grabbed the candy and pictures and ran through the creek, through the jungle and over the tall barbed wire fence, all the way to the new world he had longed for.